Oops. Wrong button. It works. Let's do one on the phone too. What's up guys? Dan with Haunt Collective and guess what? I'm in Texas. Sitting here waiting for Dan Baker to get back. He just might be home. And then we're going to go check out Dan's haunted house. I'm stoked. Super stoked. Oh look. Kitties for Liz. And barking dogs for everybody else. You ready to do this, Dan? Dan, I was born ready. So Dan, as we get out to the haunt, if you get afraid, right? This is Terrell the Trout, and uh, he's a comfort fish. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's literally a comfort fish. So if you get nervous, and you need to be in a spot, Terrell the Trout, Terrell the Trout will accommodate anything that, uh, anything that you need. So Hey, comfort hey, trout. Comfort trout. Comfort trout. You can put aspirin in there, or <laughs> keys, or nine volt batteries, or we all that, that cheese that you've got in your bag from Wisconsin, or any type of Tom Brady paraphernalia that you would normally keep in your pants. You can literally put it right here. This guy. Trout. This guy. Let's get out of here. There it is. This is it. Caddo Hills. The destination location of the old haunt house. That was the ticket booth, right? Yep. That's, hey. This is where the facade was. It looks so looks so small. It really does. The ticket booth is right there. Right, you would park over here. Didn't, didn't they have a fence going like this, I think? Yeah, this and is all, all the fenced in. meet here, and then the actor, uh, I'll never forget because they gave us a tour. Bart, Bart and Mike were awesome. So the actors in the staging area was here. When you walked in, they had the uh, the makeup room, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So this was all fenced off. They had, No, here must have been the ticket booth right here because they had merch in here as well. Yep. It's all blacked out. Can't see anything in there. Yeah. Saw a fog cannon, right? They yes. Two, it was right here. They had two big fog cannons, and I loved it because Edwards was the ringmaster, and he was also um, Rigger T. Mortis. Yes. And right? then, of course, you had, um, oh, what was Bart's? Oh, shit. Carnival, Carney. Yeah, but uh, what was this? It was a pickle, it wasn't pickles. Pickles, no. Uh, Pickles is the name of the mask. That's the CFX mask. Um, Crap, Bart. I'm sorry. I can't remember. Fuck, it's like 95 degrees out here. It's pretty warm for sure. Let's go around the other side. Oh, my. There's the lean-to where the outdoor section of the haunt was. There what? No. Oh, yeah. Was... This is where they did the sheet yeah. maze. It was sheet night. Welcome to sheet night. Well, yeah, the sheet maze, right? Because they would come back. Okay, I can't remember. Yeah, it had to be. They out came out here, and then they, you walked through here. here. They had a set of twins that worked with them. I, guys, yes. I can't remember their names. They were freaking absolutely fantastic. And uh, one guy worked uh, uh, the sheet maze with a chainsaw. It was really awesome. Fucking cool as hell. They even left the ramps in here. Yeah, and I was, I was, I was totally blown away by how they did the... Uh, the, uh, the mine shaft. This is the side door that that I came in. Yeah, me too. So, this is, well, first of all, it's fucking hot, but this is, this is the haunt house in 2018. Yes, it, is. it is. Right here. Right, that's right it. here. The haunt house. So, now yeah, you guys saw it. Bart, Michael, everybody with the haunt house. All the squares. All the squares. Everybody's. All of them. There's like 37 squares that 
37. 37 squares that worked here. <laughs> I think it's time yeah, to again, go find guys, just, just, just know it's, uh, it's, it's definitely uh, so far my favorite haunt. Yes. Indeed. All right, let's go back to the car. It's fucking God, hot out. I got to pee. I didn't get it, I'll be honest. It didn't hit me right away. Well, it's one of those, uh, it's one of those stinkers. Well, I think you also have to know what the mouth of a black bass looks like. Right, and then the, and then the, the last part of the joke is, now guys understand, if I would have caught a crappie or a sand bass, that story would have never happened. It's a big mouth bass. <laughs> and then I go into the next horrible story.